Hi guys, welcome back to La Densa Crochets. I recently did a shrug, this one, the, the one in color peach, and I did it with straight sleeves. And you already have seen the tutorial. If you haven't, I've left a link in the description box, so be sure to click it and watch the tutorial. So I'd promised that after this one, I was going to make you one that is bell sleeved, and I already have, which is this one right here. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make the the shrug using the granny stitch but then with bell sleeves so if you're not subscribed kindly subscribe join the family and let's get into a four millimeter crochet hook you can work this with whatever size of hook i would advise four or a bigger size than this then a medium weight yarn i'm using winter king it's 100% acrylic and it's a Kenyan brand. You'll need um, a measuring tape, a pair of scissors, a dining needle, and at least two stitch markers. We're going to make these two identical pieces, join them, and then work the sleeves. So this should be quite easy. It won't take much of your time. So let me show you how to work a panel. So we have one panel and the other one. They are completely identical. So grab your yarn and begin with a slip knot. I'm just pull in my yarn, then I'll start with a slip knot and chain 45. 45 is the shoulder to shoulder measurement. So you need to take your shoulder to shoulder measurements, then chain, make a chain that will be enough to cover that measurement. Mine, while not stretching, is at 12. When I give it a little bit of a stretch, it goes up to 15. So you'll need to stretch this out because you don't want something that is oversized. When you're taking these measurements, make sure that you stretch out your work. Not too much, just a little bit. And make sure that your chain is an odd number. That is a number that is not divisible by two. Now, once you have your chain ready, you're going to block off the last chain and chain two more. The chain two will act as our first double crochet. Then you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into that chain that you're holding. Yarn over, grab a loop so that you get three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through the remaining two to complete a double crochet. And those are two double crochets in the first chain. Yarn over, skip the next chain, work into the one that follows place two double crochets into that chain yarn over skip the next one work into the one that follows two double crochets yarn over skip then work into the next so basically we are working two double crochets in one stitch the stitch that follows we skip then two double crochets into the one that follows so skip this work into the next one two double crochets and repeat this to the end of row one You should have two double crochets in the last chain. So skip this and work into the last one. Two double crochets. And you are done with row one. To begin row two, chain two. And that's our first double crochet. Then we're going to work into the gaps that are between the two double crochets that we've worked. So into this gap, we're going to place two double crochets. Into the next gap, two double crochets. Two 
to double crochet into the next one two double crochets into the next gap and repeat to the end I'll meet you at the end and show you how to complete row two once you've worked the double crochets into the gaps two of them two double crochets each This is the last gap and I'm going to place the two double crochets there. Then to complete the second row, we're going to yarn over and place a double crochet on top of the first, the chain two stitch right there. And there we're done with row two, chain two, turn to begin row three. Now the first gap is right here after the double crochet that we've done at the end. So we're going to place just one double crochet into that one. So that double crochet plus the chain two will make the two double crochets. Then now we're going to work the gaps with two double crochets each. I'm coming to the end of row three. No, this is not the last gap. The last gap is right here after these two double crochets. So this one right here, we're just going to place one double crochet there. Then the next double crochet will be on top of the chain two to make those two double crochets. Then chain two and turn to begin row four. We work row four the same way we've worked row two. So we skip to the gap and work two double crochets and two double crochets into all the gaps. Then once we get to the end, at this point, we're going to place two double crochets in the last gap. Then the last double crochet will be on top of the chain two. So row two will be, uh, row four will be the same as row two. Row five will be the same as row three. Row six is the same as row two row seven is the same as row three so basically all the even rows we work them the same all the odd rows we also work them the same so we're going to alternate between row two and row three until we get the length until you get the length of your armhole i'm going to work a total of 16 rows which will give me eight inches the length of an adult armhole is between seven to nine inches so if you're a size small work until you get seven inches if you're between medium to large, 8 inches will be okay. If you're an extra large and above, then 9 inches will work for you. So keep repeating row 2 and row 3. And I'll meet you once I have the 8 inches, which is a total of 16 rows for me. I'm in row 4 right now. So I'll do 12 more rows, then get back and show you what to do next. This is what you're going to have after the 16 rows or what I have after the 16 rows. And when I measure this, it gets me to the 8 inches, which is what I was going for. I've already worked the second one right here. So this was the first one that I did. At the end, I chained one and cut off the end at this point. Then for the second one, do not cut off the end. We're going to use it to connect. Now you need to take the first panel and hold it such that the wrong side is at the bottom this is the right side then the next one so the second one i'm going to hold it in such a way that this is the right side facing the other right side like this and then you're going to connect from the top on the shoulders and you're going to connect for 10 stitches to work the bell sleeved version of this top of this rug i did a total of 18 rows in each of the back and front panels the 18 rows will give us um 
25 gaps on the sleeve part and we need the 25 because it's going to we're going to be doing an increase and you want the increase to be consistent so if you're working the bell sleeve version work 18 rows instead of 16 or 14. so what i'll do i've already chained one right here i'll just turn my work sorry i need to work from this side so i've already chained one and what i'll do is insert my hook in the first stitch on one panel on this panel where the yarn is still in place then get the other piece and go into the first stitch which is on the chain two then i'll grab a loop and complete a single crochet the next stitch is this one right here and the next one on the other side do a single crochet work into the third stitches connecting them that is three then we have four five So this is my 10th tenth, tenth stitch. Just done the double crochet there, then I'll chain one and start off the yarn at that point. Then pull through and fasten. Then I'll turn my work to the other side so that I can start working from this end. And on the same side, on this side, we also join for 10 stitches. So the first stitch on this side, the first stitch on the other side, get the yarn and reconnect it with a slip stitch then chain one then we're going to go back into that stitch we go back into that first stitch with a single crochet and as i connect i'll work over the ends go into the second stitch and do a single crochet then do a total of 10 single crochets while connecting the two panels. After the 10 stitches, chain one, cut off the yarn at that point, pull through and fasten. And the two panels are in place. This is what you should have. Now you're going to turn this to the right side, just like this. And now we're going to work the sleeves. The sleeves is an extension on this end and an extension on the other end. To do that, we're going to start with a slip knot. Then get one of the two ends at the bottom, insert your hook on the first stitch on this side and on the first stitch on the other end, then do a slip stitch there to connect them. Then hold your work like this. We're going to start working the sleeves from here. So start by chaining two. After chaining two, we're going to work on this, on the rows. So place a double crochet on that first row. Then we're going to skip over to the next row, which is this one right here, and place two double crochets. Then we'll skip over to the next row and work one double crochet. Then on the next row, one double crochet. Then on the row that follows, two double crochet. On the next row, one double crochet. Then one double crochet into the next. The next row will get two double crochets. 
So we are alternating like that. Two double crochets, then one, one, two, one, one, till we get back to where we've changed to. So next, we're going to have one double crochet and another double crochet next. Then two double crochets. Next, one double crochet and one double crochet next. Then two double crochets. So repeat this all the way around the sleeve. I'll meet you at the end where we started with the chain two. I'm coming to the end. These are two double crochets, one into each of the gaps, and I have the last gap right here. Two double crochets. To complete that row, which is our row one, we slip stitch onto the chain two stitch that we began with, then chain two, and turn to begin row two. We begin on this gap after the chain two, and we're going to place just one double crochet. That is together with the chain two that will make two double crochets, then yarn over, skip these two double crochets and work in the gap after the two double crochets. Yarn over. So now right here, instead of working after the one double crochet, we'll work after the two. So one, two, and into the gap after the two double crochets. So we are working all the gap after every two double crochets. Next, right here, two double crochets. The next two double crochets will be right here and this is what we're going to repeat to the end of row two So this is the last gap and we place two double crochets there then do a slip stitch onto the first chain two to complete row two chain two and turn to begin row three begin row three in this gap place one double crochet there then start working all the gaps with two double crochets continue like this to the end This is the last gap and next we slip stitch to complete row three onto the chain two stitch. Chain two, turn your work, work a double crochet into the first gap, then work two double crochets into all the gaps. At the end of the row you're going to do a slip stitch and continue repeating row three. And the sleeve part I've already worked up to the elbow. So after re reconnecting the yarn on the sleeve part, you work till you get to your elbow. And for that, I did a total of 26 rows. And from the 27th row, we're going to be working differently in order for the sleeve to become bell-shaped. So from the 26th row right here, this is the 26th. I'm already done with it. So I'm going to chain two and turn. To begin row 27 on the sleeve then begin on that first gap right here place a double crochet so that together with the chain two those become two double crochets so we're going to place two double crochets in the first four gaps so that is one we're going to place another one into the second gap 
then into the third gap and into the fourth so i have one two three four then into the fifth we're going to do an increase for the increase we place two double crochets into the fifth gap then we're going to chain one and go back into the same gap with another two double crochets like that then in the next four gaps we're only going to place two double crochets so in this first one double crochet double crochet into the next gap two double crochets that is two double crochets into the third gap two double crochets into the fourth gap so we have one two three four into the fifth we're going to place the increase that is two double crochets chain one another two double crochets then two double crochets so that's one two three and four then increase in the fifth so we have two double crochets chain one two double crochets into the same gap then the next four gaps get only two double crochets I have the four then into the fifth two double crochets chain one go back into that gap and place two more double crochets next we have four gaps with two double crochets each Those are four and we have one last gap remaining and you need to th into that gap we're going to place an increase that is the two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets into the same gap we are done with that row which is our row 27 then we're going to slip stitch onto the first chain two stitch slip stitch to complete that row chain two and turn to begin row 28 and row 28 will not have an increase we're just going to place two double crochets into each gap so beginning from this first one we begin with just one double crochet so that we get the second after the chain two then into this chain one we're going to place two double crochets then we're going to go to the next gap right here and place two double crochets then two double crochets into the next gap and into all the gaps all the way around so we'll be increasing in one row then the other the one that follows will have no increase so like i've increased in row 27 there's no increase in row 28 but then there'll be an increase in row 29 which is completely different from the row 27 so i'll meet you at the end of row 28 and i'll show you how to start to work row 29. 
I'm in the last gap and I'm just placing two double crochets there. Then at the end, slip stitch onto the chain two to complete row 28, then chain two and turn to begin row 29. And this is how the sleeve should be looking like right now. It will start expanding outwards. So we begin in the first gap with one double crochet. Then we're going to work in the next four gaps for a total of five gaps. So that's the first. The second one we place two double crochets. That's two. three four and five so previously we were placing two double crochets into the first five gaps into the first four now we've done five and then we're going to increase into the sixth gap so place two double crochets that's not the gap sorry this is so two double crochets, chain one, two more double crochets into that sixth gap. Then we're going to work into the first five, into the next five, sorry. We work into the next five gaps, so this one. One, two, three, four and five then the next gap which is the sixth gets an increase so right here and then this is what we're going to repeat to the end so you're going to have one two three four five increase one two three four five increase all the way till you get to the end of that row We work an increase in the last gap. Then slip stitch to complete that row. Chain two and turn. So this is what we have now. After turning, we are working row, row 30. Yeah, row 30. And for row 30, we're not going to increase. We're just going to work two double crochets into each of the gaps, including the chain one stitches that we are using, that we've used to increase in the previous row. So the next increase is going to be in row 31. And in row 31, the increase is going to be after every six gaps. So the in, as we increase, the number of gaps will increase by one. So we started with four, then we came to five, next we'll have six, then seven, 
then eight and so on until you get the full length of your sleeve you're just going to increase in alternate rows So chain two and turn to begin the next row. Now, previously we increased after every five gaps. So now we're going to increase after every six. And this is the first one. So we're going to have one, <coughs> two, three, four, five and six then we increase into the seventh so we're going to have two double crochets chain one two more double crochets Then work six gaps with no increase and increase into the seven and repeat to the end. I'm going to work these alternate row repeats until I get a total of 50 rows. Then I'll be back and show you what I'll have and how to complete the sleeve after that. So this is six gaps. The next is seven gaps, then eight, nine, ten, and so on. So keep going and I'll meet you once I'm done with my 50 rows. So right here i'm done with the 50 rows of the sleeve and as you can see this is how my sleeve looks like i've done till i have uh, 14 gaps in between the increases and i'm just working the inner row the row without an increase coming to the end just placing two double crochets into every gap and then a slip stitch on the chain two at the end. Then the last row is going to be a single crochet row. And therefore we're going to begin by chaining one and turning. Then we're going to work this row with no increase, one stitch into every stitch. So beginning with this very first stitch, you place a single crochet there. For a single crochet is inside your hook, pull up a loop. To get two loops on the hook then yarn over pull through the two loops then go into the next stitch with a single crochet and one single crochet into all the stitches all the way around till you get back to the starting point I'm coming to the end and I just have the last stitch right here so I'll place my last single crochet then slip stitch onto the first single crochet then chain one and cut off the end pull it through first end get the yarn needle and within that end I'm completely done with the sleeve on one side and therefore I'm going to reconnect the yarn on the other side then work the other sleeve that's right here so begin with a slip knot get the two ends at the bottom of the shrug reconnect in the first stitch and on the first stitch on the other side slip stitch 
chain two and now you're going to work this sleeve the same way you've worked the other one I'll go on and complete the sleeve off camera, but before then, I'll show you how to do the edging on the bottom part and on the neckline. Well, while you're doing that, make sure that you're on the right side. Then you're going to grab your yarn, get one of the corners of the bottom part right here, and reconnect the yarn. Then chain one and go back into that part where you've reconnected the yarn and work a single crochet. Then we're going to work in between the gaps, in between the stitches. So we have these two stitches right here, place a single crochet there, into this gap, single crochet, into, in between these two double crochets, we're going to place a single crochet, into this gap, single crochet, in between the two double crochets, single crochet, a single crochet into the gap right here in between the two double crochets then into the gap between the double crochets into the gap and repeat this till you go all the way around the bottom part and get back to where you've reconnected the yarn as i do that i'm working over this end just to weave it in Once you get to the end, just do a slip stitch onto the first single crochet, chain one, and cut off the yarn. Then I'm going to weave that in, but before then, I'll work the edging on the top. So again, reconnect on the corner. right here with a slip stitch then chain one go back into that stitch with a single crochet work into the gaps just like we've done at the bottom go all the way around the neckline till you get back to the last stitch right here At the end I'll just do the last double crochet then slip stitch and cut off the yarn slip stitch chain one cut off the yarn pull through first ten and then weave in that end so the edging on on the neckline and at the bottom of the shrug is done I'll just go on work the other sleeve offline and I'll be done with my work i'll be done with my project then i'll come back and show you how it will be looking i'm done with the other sleeve and done with the shrug and this is what i have this is the bottom part of the shrug this is the top part the neckline i hope it, i i hope that you've i hope that you've enjoyed the tutorial if you have kindly like the video 
comment subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a tutorial you can also leave a comment on what you think i should make next with this stitch because i'm really loving working with the granny stitch and i promise i'll be bringing in so many projects with it don't forget to click on the thanks button too and leave a gift i appreciate it a lot and see you in the next one